the Mavericks have lost game one. And it was because Andrew Wiggins put on an incredible performance. What are your thoughts down below? I mean, obviously it was a team effort, but Andrew Wiggins out here finished with the best plus minus rating of plus 28, but he had 19 points, one block, one steal, and that doesn't even show his defensive performance. He had such a great defensive performance. He touched so many balls. He was just, just literally tapping balls, tapping balls into his teammates' hands. Like half of Steph Curry's rebounds, it felt like, were literally tapped his way by Andrew Wiggins. But let's talk about it. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Look, the Mavericks lost game one. The Mavericks lost 112 to 87 to the Golden State Warriors in game one, and the Warriors looked amazing. They were playing perfect basketball, guys. In Dallas, you know, throughout the regular season and postseason, they've made adjustments effectively. But they this is interesting because the Warriors, look, Warriors take game one, 112-87. Steph Curry just dropped 21. And you knew it was over when the bench was, the bench were cleared for both teams. And Luka Doncic was, how, I know some you can say Luka Doncic looked hurt, but it was just in, it was an incredible performance by the Warriors because the Warriors' dynamic offense was just too much. The Warriors were also winning inside the arc. They were shooting 70 plus percent inside the arc. And the, it was really because the Warriors were just dominating inside. And the Mavs were literally ice cold like an ice cube. And this was just obvious about, you know, we knew it was gonna be hard for the Mavericks to keep up with the Warriors action. And the Warriors coach, Steve Kerr, wasn't you know matchup hunting and he was just literally he had what it felt like he had like 10 players in double digits he had the whole starting lineup in double digits he had seven players in double digits including Otto Porter and Jordan Poole okay and it, you know it was just incredible to watch this because first off Wiggins has stepped up defensively it's just been a nice defensive night by Andrew Wiggins he had that one when he had a great spin recovery to alter Luka Doncic's layup before he could score over Jordan Poole. And then he picks up Doncic full courts and literally drapes him into the lane and gets a tip steal. Like literally Andrew Wiggins was just being a dog all night. And it was just so much fun to watch in my opinion. Because Andrew Wiggins literally is just showing the ability to be a two-way stud. And he still loves the score but he's just holding people down and also Kevin Looney and Dravon Green deserve credit because you've seen we've seen what they've been able to do all night. And I think that's definitely something people need to understand is that it's just been very fun to see Andrew Wiggins go from this guy who was just scoring all the time that I felt like people kinda were starting to hate a lot. And I personally thought Andrew Wiggins, when we were watching him, he was just doing what he needed to do. And I know you could say Andrew Wiggins had, you know, at first wasn't attacking Kleba, but then he started attacking Kleba and they they had success. So it was really, it was amazing, okay? It was a huge first half by Andrew Wiggins. He stepped up like it was needed. And for me, I think it was just, it was a good performance in Andrew Wiggins showing that he can do everything. Like and subscribe.